I just ordered a cable with a SAE connector on it so I can get rid of these clamps that I have on there right now that came with the Renogy system. And I'll mount that connector somewhere over here. And I have an adapter to go from that SAE to the MC4 connectors. And I ordered another 10 foot extension cable. This is a 20 foot Renogy one. But I'll use the 10 foot one unless I need the 20 foot one. And then at some point I may need 30 feet. I don't know how much loss there will be at 30 feet. I got a few more parts for my solar setup off of Amazon. I got a 10 foot extension cable. Um, this adapter cable, which will connect from these cables to this guy, this panel mount, what do they call this? SAE connector. I'll go out to the setup and show you what I'm doing. I'm waiting for a bracket, a metal bracket, uh, to, to mount this onto. Shortly after I bought this Jayco trailer, I took the single 12 volt battery, deep cycle battery, which was in that battery box and converted this thing over to two 6 volt uh, golf cart batteries which uh, supposedly can handle uh, discharging and recharging a whole lot better. What I'm going to do, uh, right now the solar panel, the 200 watt Renogy system came with these stupid clamp-on deals here. Uh, I'll be taking those off and this panel mount SAE connector is going to replace those. I can get my 12 volts inside this box right here that I put on. I put this disconnect battery disconnect switch on here and in here I've got switched and unswitched 12 volts and I have a nice, I put a nice ground stud right here. So I can hook the ground up there the positive wire inside that box and I'll probably attach the uh, panel mount bracket maybe right here. First things first, I'm going to test these 10 foot cables and make sure they work. The system right now is telling me that it's full. The batteries are completely charged. So I'm going to hook those 10 foot cables up. I have 20 foot cables on here right now. I'll hook the 10 footers up and make sure they work first. There's the 20 foot cable I just disconnected. I hooked the new 10 foot cable after I tie wrapped it up and it seems to be working. It's doing what it needs to do. Here's what's going on over here in this section. As I mentioned earlier, I added all this stuff on. Nice battery switch to shut power off, 12 volt power off to the trailer. It turns it on. I have a stud in here that is 12 volt switched. When this is turned off, this guy here has no power. But this one over here will still have power. So I will wire the solar panel uh, cable up to the non-switched power for ground and hook it up to the ground stud over here. This is a 30 amp fuse circuit breaker that I use for the main power going to the trailer 12 volt power. This panel mount SAE connector that I'm going to put on the trailer has this uh, molded together 10 gauge wire it does appear to be tinned copper, but I'm going to attempt to not cut myself, but separate these wires. And I just might go get a leather glove, because I don't want to provide bloody YouTube entertainment. Just come apart now, like this. So this I can work with when I put it on the trailer. This little bracket came in the mail today. And it goes right on there. I just have to drill or elongate a few holes 
and I'll mount this on that gray box on the trailer like so. I'll have my SAE connector on there. What I'm going to do is just drill holes right in between these two holes in the four locations and then I can slot from the outer one in with a small file. I decided to bring the night shift crew out so I'm pretty excited to get this done. Uh, this thing came out pretty good. Uh, the little bracket is mounted to the side of this plastic box uh, so hopefully it'll be waterproof. This guy eventually will just plug in here like so and then the MC4 connectors are going to plug into those MC4 connectors. So no more hokey clamps on the terminals up there on the battery. And the solar panels will charge the battery batteries whether or not this battery switch is off or on. Here's the situation. This, these two cables are coming from the solar panels. This is going up to the battery with the clamp-on terminals, the Renogy, Renogy cable. Uh, you can see that black goes to black, red goes to red, and they will connect, and everything's fine, and the battery charges. Now I've put that SAE connector on there, so I need to use this adapter cable, and look at that. They go from, again, this is from the solar panel, positive and negative. And in order to get this adapter cable connected, I have to reverse the polarity of the wires. So black is going to be solar plus, red is going to be solar minus. Uh, I've cut these wires that come off of the back side of this and the red wire is going to go up there to an unswitched positive connection going to the battery and the black wire will go there okay I have these two wires stripped it's just coming out the end here with a proper crimper. That's really tight. I got some very thick insulation on here also. And we'll go get a clamp. That should do it. So this Renogy cable, the clamp cable that goes to the battery, came with a 15 amp fuse. So I need to add this guy. Uh, I need to put this ring lug on here and then interconnect this cable to this cable with these lugs here, male and female. Got a lot of stuff I gotta shove inside that little box. The wire is not tinned. It's bare copper. This quarter inch ring lug on one end of this, crank the other end onto this guy. that off. Strip this guy back. This needs to crimp on here.
this connects to this. Got one more ring lug to solder up now. Let that cool down for a moment. Next, I will disconnect the negative side of the battery. I'm going to make sure I don't have power down here. No and no. I'm going to hook up this black ground wire to the chassis ground over here. Ground wires hooked up. There's a 15 amp fuse. See these things don't align perfectly in here. Okay, 15 amp fuse is in. This is going to hook up here. the battery hooked up again. All of this business is hooked up. This is the new the new wire right here. It's hard to see in there with the fuse and the ground wire is hooked up over here on the ground stud and that ground wire and that hot wire are coming to this connector. So I'm going to make sure I have 12 volts there and that this top pole should be plus and this should be minus. The negative here, positive goes here and we end up with 12.81 volts plus. So that's what I was hoping to accomplish here. Now I need to see if I can shove all that stuff back into that box. Got two of these big inline fuses in here. This is going to be rough. There's a lot of extra wire here, that's part of the problem. Nope. Making good progress now. Let's do one final check here. And this is the cables coming from the solar panels. This positive cable from the solar panel is going to connect to solar plus black. This red wire is going to connect to black here on this adapter. So this is going to be 12 volts charging. This is going to be solar minus so the red wire is ground. Why does that seem backwards? It is backwards with the adapter, with the polarity reverser. This plus goes to this black wire. This is plus from the solar going to plus here. Plus. 12.78, if I reverse, it's minus 12.78. This top pole is the positive. Need this positive wire, solar plus, to go to the top. That's the positive coming from the solar. This is the negative coming from the solar. Plug it in. And turn the solar on and see if we have an explosion. It's going through a self-test and it looks like it's charging. We'll check the battery terminals. There's no smoke. 14.26 and climbing. Say everything is hooked up good and proper. Here we are at the solar panels. 
putting out 10 amps at 14.7 volts through these cables, 10 foot cables coming over here. I've got an interconnect here, but when I want to disconnect the solar, I'll just disconnect this and put the little cap on there. Nice. Very clean. Okay, we got a campsite simulation going on here. Renogy 200 watt solar panels, suitcase style. Charging. And I have, at the moment, 30 feet of cable. Going along the ground, under a trailer, under a truck. Over to here. And, hang on. Over to here. Put a little strain relief thing here to keep from tugging on the connector. Everything's buttoned up. I think I'm good to go.